Right, so today we're looking at the Smart Liberty. The Smart Meter, Secure Liberty 100. Um, this is purely for educational purposes only. Um, right off the bat, there's a contact switch there, so they will know if you get into the terminals. There's also a contact switch on the back of this. You just look there. So they'll know if you get into the communications. Communications are pretty basic. Wi-Fi and SIM card module. With, it looks like, a capacitor backup of some kind. Um, probably not the last phone call, if you like. But who knows? Um, it does have some other forms of protection as well, which we're going to get into shortly. Something comes through on one of these. But I aren't sure exactly what's happening. Um, it's one of these two corresponders that it comes up on. But we'll take from where we are now. And we'll just get this out for a quick look. Again, it's very well made, pretty standard. Um, SPD <laughs> basically it's got a shunt in there yeah, a couple of smoothing capacitors there's your power supply your big chunky switch um, what did get me curious though there's your line in your neutral bar is not monitored at all which I would have expected on something like this but nevertheless but hey, who's monitor anything? If you can spend, if an MP can spend twelve grand on some uh, on heating his horses, who's watching out? But you phase out. If you actually see this pin here, train it back. It actually tracks up here, across this capacitor, up here, up here, and swaps round, and is actually seems to be some sort of contact. So it looks like it goes up to the comms. Um. Major flaw on this though, what I did realise was that if that's true, if there's meters in credit, there's actually no way to detect, um, there's actually no way to detect uh, a short between the in and the out of the live. And obviously there's no way to detect it on the neutral for some strange reason. Um, I just don't think, it's, it's very well made, but I just don't think these have been very well thought out. So let's get it back together and just give you a demonstration. I don't know if we've got two minutes. So, we'll give it some live in. So, oh. See the rushing you see. Yes, this is your live in. And we're just going to put a load on it. Um, just a little bit of a load. Right, just an old microwave thing here. Just for test purposes again. I just want to see if it throws up any kind of fault. Or any kind of problem. If the meter's in credit. And you effectively borrow some power. Because... Like I say, it's, it's, it's always good to have a little bit of knowledge. And so is that safe in there? That'll do. Right, I'm going to plug in. Yeah. Make sure you can see it properly. Oh, better get the, that on as well. The contact switch in. We're going to plug in, switch on. And as you can see, we've got a load and the meter is showing credit. Um, let's check 
these. If we actually look at the meter itself and borrow a load, absolutely nothing happens when it's in credit. So just to prove that, there's this little link wire just linking out to live. No change, absolutely no throw up, no ping, absolutely nothing. Um, like I said, do with this information as you like. Um, it's clear to see that if there's credit on these meters, um, they will not throw up. That they're, um, they've got a, an extra way around, if you like. Um, educational purposes only. I am in no way condoning this sort of behaviour. It's just useful to know, innit? Take care, everyone.